My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how to's, and reviews. And in today's video, we've got a tower of boxes. I ordered these boxes from snaprack.com. Inside, we've got contents for storage and organization for my trailer. Uh, we'll be doing a complete overhaul and upgrade in the trailer for this upcoming lawn care season. First off, if you've ever been on the channel, when we do unboxings, uh, my first critique is the packaging. So, unfortunately, we're uh, failing here. Uh, packaging ha heavy objects is very difficult. I've had many things not arrive, and let's hope that everything's in here. Um, first box down here, looks like we got uh, some bolt holes in it. Um, this box, we've got a metal part coming out the side, and this one's also bulging. But, like I said, I hope everything's in here and hopefully we've got no issues. If there are, I can obviously reach out to SnapRack and I'm sure they'll, they'll take care of me. But uh, without further ado, let's get uh, cutting these up. We're actually gonna save this heaviest box for last. And these boxes are great. Lots of bubble wrap. These are the shelf brackets. I am really excited about these. I tried some of these E-Trax 2x4 brackets in the past and they work great for a permanent uh, solution, but once you put a shelf on them, they didn't work so great for removable shelves. So this is something, and I'm not, I'm not even entirely sure, I think SnapRack might actually manufacture or make these. You can see they're welded uh, possibly in-house, but the cool part is these clips. So you attach the shelf to this, you pull this clip out, this piece stays on the shelf, and then you're able to, this bracket will then still be attached to the wall, and then you can remove the bracket from the wall. My biggest problem is like in the V-nose, is getting these to work. So I'm really excited to try these out, and I've got a really big issue up in the front of the trailer with the V-nose uh, that I need to resolve, and I think this is the, the solution for it. We got four of those. We got a tire holder here. Um, again, I think these are probably made in-house. We've got a uh, paper towel holder and another tire. So last year I ha only had one of these and I had a spare tire for the mower and a spare tire for the trailer and I, I ended up not having the spare, spare tire for the mower and they're all season so I think it'll be nice to have two up on the wall. One box down. Next up we got the box with the protruding side. So this is for a backpack blower. Uh, you hook it on the top there and then you can actually bungee strap it on the bottom. And this is for holding a uh, water cooler or jug. Um, fit five gallon drug, you can uh, bun again bungee cord it here and then it's got a base plate to sit on. And we got another backpack blower holder here. On to the big heavy box. Heave ho! Heave ho! Traileroutlet.com, so a bunch of trailer accessories. So we've got uh, like a shovel holder. Um, I tried to do a couple different iterations of solutions last year and nothing really worked out well. They kept falling off the wall, so I'm hoping this one holds up well. Another shovel holder. This is for your trimmer holders. Um, we'll see how well this one works. The ones that I had, how's this one go? Ooh, I like that already. Six of those. Uh, another bracket. Um, I thought I could use this for backpack blower or something else. Uh, this is for the blower tubes or other things you want to hang up uh, to hold them up on the wall. Third one. And this is a different style bracket, so we'll see which one ends up working better of these two for rakes, shovels, whatever else. They are a little bit shallower than I expected, um, but when you get a couple shovels on that, it ends up being a lot of weight. And if I've got more of these, I would actually prefer that these shovels be. I'd rather only fit three shovels on here than five if I can keep them close up against the wall and have more brackets to hold them. I just never found a good bracket to hold them on the wall. Three of these brackets, another blower tube bracket, We've got one of these L, another one of these L brackets, two of these hooks. And these hooks look really good for, um, again, handles on equipment, backpack blowers or uh, handheld blowers, um, that type of thing. So we'll see how all these work and what we use them for. Okay. Christmas is over. So, again, we got two more boxes. Um, should be here tomorrow, but I, I wanna try and get started on this with what we've got, and um, I've got a lot of work on the trailer to do. We're in the middle of working on the trailer build, and these other two packages arrived. It's the E-Trax from SnapRack. So, uh, I think they did a better job on packaging these. I, I'm, I almost broke into these without uh, bringing the camera along, 
but what kind of excited me is that they actually looks like they bolted these together. So we'll go ahead and tear into this together. We can see how good of a job they did. Um, use some duct tape. Um, there is some scuffing, some wear and tear on these. Um, just from shipping, you can see there's some indentations here. Um, this one, not so much. Um, just for reference, here's a look at the other e tracks I, I purchased. And you can see this is a full full length on both of these. Um, the other e tracks I bought, um, the vertical e tracks, was shorter in length, about a foot shorter. So this one, we got a little bit longer, so we can use that to our advantage. Um, and then this sticker is actually from my P.O. box unfortunately, so that's going to be kind of fun to get off. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, unpackage these and see uh, see how they did bolt these together or whatever they did. So I don't think these are going to be reusable. These threads are pretty screwed up. Um, and some of the threads got damaged in shipping, made it hard to take those nuts off. But overall, uh, E-Tracks is a hard thing to ship, uh, not a bad way of doing it. Um, so definitely more pleased with the packaging on the E-Tracks rails over the, the boxes. But everything got here. I did go through all my quantities. Um, everything did arrive. So uh, no real complaints there. You can see here this end is one of the ones that got bent. This is the worst one. There's only a couple. Hopefully this comes off okay. Let's spin that around. Worst case scenario, I can always cut it off. Okay, what size is this? This is a 11 millimeter. We got four of the normal e tracks. I really like these. This is a nice color. Um, I've always preferred grays. I mean, that's kind of the, the new trendy color. Um, this galvanized steel, whatever look, it works. Um, but I think this looks nicer. Um, and here is the vertical e tracks. We've got six of these. And looking at these, it looks like they've got um, whatever manufacturer they use or wherever they get their e tracks from. Uh, I'm sure that they don't build it in house, but uh, it looks like this is part of their process because not just the ones on the top have it, but the ones inside have it. Um, I wonder if it's on the back side as well. Yeah, like we've got little titches of paint in here. Um, so, I mean, fit and finish this powder coating or paint or whatever's on these is not perfect. It wasn't just those ones on the top that got damaged. Um, it's all of them that have this this defect in the paint. It's just, it's just extra texturing. Um, so if you're looking for something that's perfect, this may not be the product for you. Um, you know, it, it's interesting too because it's almost like you got one here and one here, and then if you go up, it's on the opposite side. One here, one here, and then opposite side. So maybe it's the drying racks or something like that. The normal E-Trax is not as bad. It's just the vertical E-Trax. But uh, if you've seen the ones in my trailer, they're beat to snot anyways. So um, if you're gonna use it, it's probably not gonna stay nice anyways. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was informative and helpful. If you do have any questions, be sure to leave them down below and I'll try and answer them. I'll try to answer those daily. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And if you liked it, like the video, and we'll see you on the next one. And if you like the video, 
give us a thumbs up if you don't like the video thumbs down twice you know what i mean thanks for watching thrifty garage we'll see you on the next one